Welcome back to Talk to the Experts. Greg Morgan here with Daryl Art from Campbell and Halliburton Insurance. If you uh, took a few moments uh, during our break to check out mych.ca, you know very well that uh, Daryl comes to you with what, over 20 years of experience now in this business of insurance? Absolutely great. Yeah, and everyone, uh, from what I hear, feels quite comfortable in sitting down with you. Uh, some joke that uh, he's like my dad, and I go to him for all the uh, the the answers on this one. So, Daryl, the market right now is conducive to buying a new home or selling. Let's talk about buying a new home and thinking insurance. Where do you begin here? Where you start is you come and say, I bought a new home, or I'm thinking of buying a new home, anything I need to be aware of. So often we have clients, they come in and they, they hold up this piece of paper that says, I need fire insurance. And that's one of those antiquated, old, old words. We're not going to talk fire insurance. We're going to talk home insurance. And what's the difference? The difference is spelling. Hmm. Home insurance is going to give you a lot more than fire insurance, but where do you start? I always say, let me make two very bold assumptions here, Greg. Bold assumption number one, you don't want anything bad to happen to your house. Am I right? Of course. Bold assumption two, if something bad does happen, you want your house rebuilt. And most people are going to say, absolutely. And that's going to launch our discussion. When we're talking about home insurance, we want to find out a bit about you and a bit about your house. So we can find out what does it cost to rebuild? And that's going to be one of the biggest differences where, especially our first time buyers, they're going to come in and say, Hey, I paid this, but we're not necessarily insuring for what you paid. We want to make sure if something happens, your house gets put back for you. So before you even buy a couple of quick things to check, check the electrical. Any newer home is probably going to be fine, but some of the older ones have knob and tube wiring. Is it a deal breaker? No. Might you pay more for your insurance? Well, you might, but that's the joys of having an old character house. Mm -hmm. Some homes are going to have aluminum wiring. A deal breaker? No, but please give us a bit of lead time. Those are a little bit more tricky, but the team at Campbell and Halliburton MyCH we can navigate that. That's yeah. not a problem. It's interesting. Uh, it's almost as if uh, if you're in the process right now of looking for a home, and as you call it, a character home in particular, it sounds like it's pretty important to ask you these questions prior to the home purchase. Absolutely it is. And I'll say a, a huge shout out to the Insurance Brokers Association, uh, an organization I'm a part of. They ha- are working together with the realtors to bring some of those questions front and center so that when people are buying a home, They know what sorts of things to ask even before they make that offer. Yeah, it's a great idea. Uh, You're listening to Daryl Arndt here from Campbell and Halliburton Insurance on Talk to the Experts. When you're looking for a home, uh, let's face it, there are some great deals out there. And then there are the the deals you think, wow, that deal is too good to be true. Sometimes they are. Sometimes they they are. I got a call years ago from a client who said, Daryl, I found a house. (laughs) I fell in love with my house and I, I waited for the other shoe to drop and they said it was a grow up. Yeah. And the shoe dropped as did my face. <laughs> you know, those deals that are too good to be true sometimes are. Sometimes some of those grow ups, you can insure them, but Greg, you have a lot of hoops to jump through. Yeah. And when I reached out to one of my insurance partners, they came back with the the sage advice, find another house to fall in love with. Yeah. So those things, when it seems too good to be true, make the phone call. Pick up the, the phone before you put the offer down. Okay. So when it comes down to it, you're insuring a home for its value in the future. How do you determine that? Is there a formula? Oh. Because uh, like you said it earlier in the show here, uh, hey, I just bought a home worth $750,000. I want that home insured for the very least $750,000. Is it that easy? Actually, we make it that easy. Now, I'm not going to tell you that we have elaborate spreadsheets and (laughs) and scientific calculators and pocket protectors, although I am also one of the insurance geeks, so I just (laughs) might go there. But we do use some fairly sophisticated software. 
which can ask, will ask you probably eight, 10 questions. And using some algorithms, which are way, way beyond my pay grade, we're able in a few short minutes to come up with a fairly accurate reconstruction value for your house. It's also vital to just recognize, even if you're a longtime homeowner listening to us today here, that you almost have to revisit your house insurance policy yearly, don't you? It's a very good idea. Give me an example of why that might be necessary. One or two examples of why should I have to look back? Is it perhaps if the city's working in my front yard? Am I covered in that well, manner? There, or there, what there, sort of examples could you give me? There's a couple. The, the, the biggest one is, so Greg, have you ever made rentals, made changes to your house? Yeah. And I'm going to guess that the very first person you thought to call was your insurance agent. No, probably your contractor. Mm -hmm. Most of us, when we're making those changes, we don't think insurance. But those are changes which sometimes increase the rebuild value. Now, if I'm painting my walls orange where they were green, well, paint is paint. Yeah. But all of a sudden, I'm finishing the basement and adding a deck and a hot tub. This is my wish list, by the way. Yeah. All of those things, now it's going to cost more. And people don't always think to pick up the phone. It's a good idea. The other would be any, sometimes the, the, the big reason why we want to review our policy is you take a look at the premium and go, oh my goodness, it's gone up. Yeah. So the best thing to do, and we try to get out in front of that, but the best thing to do is have that conversation to say, my rates jumped. What options are there? And believe me, Greg, there's always options. Yeah. And uh, is there replacement coverage just as there is in vehicles, how you can pay extra for the replacement of a brand new vehicle? Can you do that with a new home too? Actually, new homes are probably, a brand new home might even cost you less. Hmm. But what you can do, depending on which company you're with, I mean, which insurance company, uh, not which brokerage, but yeah. which insurance company and the age of your house, you can have what's called Guaranteed replacement Guaranteed costs. replacement coverage. That's what I was looking so for, yeah. What that means is, let's say, Greg, your house is built. What year is your house? Let's say 1980, just to pull a number out of the air. And we've got it insured for the full replacement cost of $750,000. Mm -hmm. It burns down, and now it costs eight fifty. dollars Guaranteed replacement means who pays the extra 100000 Not you. Mm -hmm. Your insurance policy. Well, it's... Uh... Very important, I think, to review your policy if you haven't done so in quite some time because your premiums might be a little high right now, and sometimes Absolutely. it's happened to me with you folks. Uh, you found a better premium for me. That's our job. Yeah. That's our is. pleasure. Well, uh, I've really enjoyed this edition of Talk to the Experts, Daryl, and uh, uh, I joked at the beginning of our show how you're like the dad in the office that everyone comes to and can just sit around and uh, fire any questions away. How easy is it to get a hold of you? And uh, uh, what, what do you do? Do you make an appointment or can I do it online? What should I do? You can do whatever you like. You can pick up the phone and call. You can send us an email. You can send it to me. You can send it to any of our team. You can chat. You can stop by. You can make an appointment. We'll make it work. Okay, well, you have to go to the website, uh, and when you have a moment here today, mych.ca, Campbell and Halliburton Insurance is uh, where you want to check for all your insurance needs. And this is more than just residential, right? Absolutely. You guys do corporate farm, too? We do farm, we do auto, we do home, we do life insurance. We do almost everything. All right. Well, again, I thank you, Daryl. Daryl Arndt from Campbell and Halliburton Insurance. Appreciate your time. My pleasure. Thanks, You've Greg. been listening to Talk to the Experts again. The website to check out is mych.ca. I'm Greg Morgan.